The Worst Person in the World is a Norwegian film directed by Joachim Trier. If you pay attention to the whole Oscar circuit, then you would know that this film is nominated for two Academy Awards, International Feature Film and Best Original Screenplay. This film has been making quite the buzz during its festival run, and I was actually lucky enough to catch it while it was doing that last year. If you look at my main channel, then you'll see that I have a video talking about my favorite movies of 2021, and the worst person in the world happened to be at the very top of that list. So yeah, you could say that I really do love this movie. And with it finally getting its wide release in the US this month, I decided to watch it again and make a review on it because these foreign films tend to slip under the radar most times, so I just wanted to spread the word a little more, you know? So The Worst Person in the World is a romantic comedy drama, and it's about a character named Julie. Julie is at the end of her 20s, and she realizes that she's not completely satisfied with everything her life has come to so far. Within like the first two minutes, you get this opening sequence of Julie dropping out of med school to pursue psychology. She breaks up with her boyfriend, then she cuts and dyes her hair until she finally quits psychology to pursue photography. This all perfectly sets up the tone and character for Julie because she is hardly ever in one situation for too long. The film is broken down into 12 chapters including a prologue and an epilogue which I found to be neat storytelling because each one of these chapters highlights a pivotal moment of self-reflection where you don't know what she'll do next. One moment she can be in a happy relationship and then suddenly the next it can feel like it's suffocating her and she needs to get out of it immediately. And these are all of course serious circumstances but the film also knows how to have fun which is pretty important in getting to know Julie as well. One of the things I love about this movie's promotion is that it paints itself as a romantic comedy, which it totally can work in that way. The way Julie's life flows from scenario to scenario can be tons of fun, and it's mostly the way she views it herself. There are some scenes in this movie that are so beyond ridiculous that I couldn't even begin to describe it for you unless you saw it for yourself. This movie can get wild. And yes, this created a vast of different reactions from the audience, so maybe be prepared for that. But yeah, you could watch this whole movie without you ever really having to take it serious. It's only at the end where you can decide whether this all really worked for you or not. Because Julie can come off as a bad person based on some of her decisions, but she's also very human. Even though you might not agree with some of the things that she does here, the film makes it easy for you to understand her and why she does some of the things that she does. And in the end, all you want for her is to find that happiness she's constantly searching for. Every moment in this film is so perfectly crafted that you don't realize how much you care for these characters until the ending hits you like a fucking train. I feel like anyone could resonate with this story, whether that be the love aspect or the midlife crisis. I think this has something for anyone to enjoy. Or anyone not including kids. I just love how creative Yohim was able to be in telling this story. It all felt very original and relatable and a huge props to all the actors in this movie too, seriously, especially Renata Reinsve. She absolutely crushed her performance and I'm sad that she didn't get nominated but in my heart, she won. If I had to give the worst person in the world a rating, I would say that this is an easy 10 out of 10. I would tell you guys if there was any flaws with this movie but I swear I really had no issues with this whatsoever. If anything, I wish some scenes were longer. I know you might feel like you've been taken on a roller coaster ride if you've seen my last video, but I think anyone who saw that new Texas Chainsaw deserves something nice, so here you go. Let me know if any of you guys watched The Worst Person in the World, or if this is your first time hearing about it. The movie's been out for a good minute, so I'd really like to hear your feedback on that. Thank you guys for watching my video. The next movie I'll be watching is The Batman, which I'm really excited for, so be sure to tune in for that real soon. Anyways, appreciate you. Dog bless.